Hallå Luken och hjärtligt välkommen till en ny episode med F1 23 Breaking Point 2. I förra episoden så har det bytt regne och nej, det är sagt så i begynnelsen av episoden så fick vi skickligt pepptack av Ian och Kelly att vi sikker skärpa sig och inte och Tim inte klarar att komma sig på femte plats eller höjde på konsumskapet. Så täcker Battle Global ut för att timme och uh, då gick det tid ut. Så uh, jag spelar som jag kör som Kelly och uh, där vinter Nine så det gjorde en bra strategi när jag var tidde och satte på intermediates för Nine kommer och det gick väldigt grejt. Men så blev uh, men så blev Kelly su för de faren uh, steg sig in på uh, på kommunikations på kommunikationen med henne och Och okay, kan det titta på faren sin. Så, vi är er klara för kapitel nummer 14. Så nu ska vi se. Så, vad ser vi då? I tal är Grand Prix en månad senare. Ska vi se. As a grid heads to Monza, fractures within the team continue to plague Carlsport. Hey boss, got a couple of minutes. Let's give us a trouble in the garage. Give us a. Let's give us a. We get reports of a bit of comfort, confrontation down in the garage, which you thought you should know about. Kelly overheard a mechanic bath bad mouthing her, and she called him out on it. The mechanic called her privileges and out of touch. She uh, said she would make it in F1 because she doesn't understand how punishing can be. How do you handle it? Oh, mobbing in the garage of uh, mechanica, they are not so bad. Let's go. That this doesn't happen on my watch. We are team and we need to act like one. Arrange a meeting with the mechanic. What? Yeah, hear them and uh, all wash it. So, let's go see. The Carnival Sport Future article is out and why favorable at the team overall. The journalist did pick up the unavoidable and obvious tension between Kelly and Davidoff. Questions in the press and on social media are beginning to circle that there is a repairable father-daughter rift at the heart of the color sport. Yeah, well, okay. Let's see for the next one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They go up. Reputation and performance go up. Team interview. Oh yeah, this is another. Let's have a trackside chat. And there. Hey. Guess who's on his way in. Davidoff? He just called the office. Arrange him a lunch, he says. He treats the office staff like his uh, uh, personal assistants. He shouldn't be a drain on our resources. Look, I'll, I'll talk to him. Can you let the garage staff know he'll be wandering around down there? Make sure we have the usual room set up for him. Yeah, no problem. Roll out the red carpet. Davidoff's in town. Last I heard he was joining us in Singapore, but today he just shows up. Don't let him get to you like this. We'll handle him. <sighs> Remind me why I went into business with him. At least you have an F1 team. For now. Look, he wants us to succeed. Doesn't always feel like it, Cass. Eh, I'll see you in the meeting. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, there's some David up on the shoot. I don't care, Callie. People are saying Dad's heading in. He is, yeah. I thought he wasn't around this weekend. <laughs> well, so did we. Um, listen, I heard what happened in the garage. Oh, yeah. Look, please don't worry about that. It got a bit heated, but it's fine. I can't have that behavior on the team. I'm giving the guy a warning. Oh, uh, is that necessary? Well, it's not okay to talk about your own drivers like that. Right. Well, you're the boss. Yeah. See you in the meeting. See you there. Yeah. Okay. Let me uh some uh me some shit how I could take it I had uh parked up um uh like park sucking uh in the garage and also had the devil off so by the shoot to king or we were me or or further me po what some shit I get some shit uh here it in. Okay, we go with our note till the loop. Should you take a look at this thing? Uh, I think I'm ready, you know. 
Andre was courted by a reporter when heading out to the team hotel early this morning, asking if he regretted getting to Formula 1. We knew Andrea to be a passionate man. This couple within the already tense situation may, may admit his response come across a little theory. This might require some damage control. How would you like to handle it? Oh yeah? Mm -hmm. Let's go show. Yeah. I can't uncross that's it. You ain't getting. Everything else looks fine. It's just about that rear wing. I don't want to sacrifice any more downforce. It's okay, it's your call. Now let's uh, check the weather again in an hour. Oi oi! <laughs> Did you miss me? Hello, sis. Hi, bro. Jackson. Devon. How are you, Devon? I am excited. Very excited to be involved again. Now you, you pretend I'm not here, you carry on, please. Involved? How? Oh, you know, just a uh, little bit of this, a little bit of uh... Involved? How? We'll figure it out, we'll figure it out. Huh. And what does Andreo say to that? He'll agree, Casper. It's fine. Were they pleased to see you? People are always pleased to see me. And what was on your role? Uh, I guess you might call me a liaison. Yeah, I just, I love to liaise. Dad wanted me to talk to people, keep people's spirits up, give some friendly words of advice, that kind of thing. But, uh, it was tough. Yeah, Aiden still had that ego. Still thought he was too good for the team. Wouldn't listen to Casper's advice, that was a problem. And then Andreo, he was worried about the future of the team. He had dad breathing down his neck. And Callie? Well, let's just say Callie wasn't really looking for my advice. The whole thing was a mess. I mean, honestly, I'd only been gone five minutes. So, han har en som en slags rådgiver i sitt team, ja. Okay, ska vi se. With her brother's return, certain to ruffle a few feathers at the already shaky consport. Kelly focused on the race and the continuing battle with her teammate Aiden Jackson. The two Connor Sport teammates not exactly doing each other any favors this afternoon. For me, they're a little bit too close for comfort. What is Aiden playing at? Tell him to back off. Okay, Kelly, he knows. Yeah, same old stuff. Jackson really wants to make a move out there, but Mayer, no chance. Not letting him pass. Towards the curve of Grande we go. He's going for it. It's really close. It's too close. There goes Mayer's front wing. Oh, Aiden Jackson, what happened there? This now seems like a running theme at Connor Sports. Yes, this race is critical for them. When are they going to just pull themselves together? OK, box please, Kelly. Let's get that wing replaced. Box this lap, please. Box this lap. Yeah, copy. Alright, you're inside the airside. Yen, hit the replace your front wing. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I'm not there for not there for the on since we get so this guy please fix the start. The break, the break. Let's go there. Dad. We are in the game for the plus, so that is the part for me to turn into power and to put out the front thing. Okay, well, 
bare bare jeg har fått en ny oppgave, og det er fullført, fullført på, på poengplass. Jeg har solgt et gås, og det vil ikke være noe dukkelig enn i det hele tatt. Jeg har fanget meg bak Gasly på en 16. plass. Det er litt vanskelig gjennom Resbo 1. Ta på ytteren der. Ai, ai, ai. Dette går fint, dette går fint. Da vil vi se noe da. Ta den på ytteren der, og så har vi Hulkenberg. Den ser jeg gjennom Kurva Grande. Kurva Grande. Der er meg på. Skal vi se. Der ja, der ja, der ja, der ja. Dette går fint, dette går fint. Da er det neste mann, Piastri. Da er Piastri og Conn, og så... Hvem er det som er for meg om der da? Det er Stroll. Så jeg får prøve meg å komme på å bli alle tre, for da er jeg innenfor poengplass. Nede over bort, ikke 50 eller Per Bålika. Jeg vet at jeg har byttet navn, men jeg vil kalle det siste svingen på Per Bålika. Veldig, veldig enkelt å, enkelt å, enkelt å huske. Oi, 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 kom igjen, kom igjen, kom igjen. Åh, det er en som er oppe der. Jep, nå er side om side med Piastri. Men nå er, nå kan, nå, oi, 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 bare slå det farten litt der. Det er vanskelig å finne en åpning da! Oh, jeg må ta den nå her. Jeg må ta den nå. Oh, oh, oh. Rolig, 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 rolig. Gi en plass i hvert fall. Sånn igjen. Ja, jeg føler litt sakte der, Gud. Dårlig utgang, kanskje. Ja, fortsatt side om side. Oh, oh, oh. Veldig gross, veldig gross. Jeg tar på inn her der. Her er jeg nå er på en tidlig plass. Så da er det neste mann, eh, Sargent. Eisen også. Og forby ganske enkelt. Her er vi Alonso. Han tar han på utsiden inn mot uh, Asgard i Chicago. Ja da. Dette gikk bra. Nå ser jeg, nå er vi Morris som så går tur, og så har vi Aiden på en sjetteplass. Og så gjenstår det bare en runde igjen, og så vil vi se om vi klarer å ta den begge to, eller... Ja, ja man så er en veldig rask bane, altså. Veldig rask bane. Klarer jeg å ta den begge to? Klarer jeg det? Klarer jeg det? Tredje på Eisen på. Ja, ja da! Hahaha! Jeg klarer bonusen også! Farsikler vinner på hjemmebane for Ferrari, og da blir det en sjette plass i dag. Jackson continues to be the aggressor. 
Is it personal, Vasily? Well, you know, it does seem that way from the outside looking in, but all I know is they just can't go on like this. Ferrari are at it again. An excellent performance at today's Grand Prix, and they're certainly a team that know what they're doing out there. Now, once again, another eventful race out there today for Connor Sport, Kelly. Is the team sabotaging its own chance of a decent finish this season? <laughs> Under tree is your job, Natalie. <laughs> no, I am not here to comment on those kind of narratives. I will stick to driving the car, thank you. Everyone is talking about Devon's return to Connor Sport today. So is it good to have him back around again? Devon always means well. Um, he just doesn't always have a, a, let's call it a net positive influence on those around him, but he's here because he cares about the sport and he cares about the team. Tell us if you can about this rumor circulating about a rift between you and your father, Davidoff. <laughs> well, sorry to disappoint, but no, that's not true. He really cares about the team and he wants me to do well. Um, it may be fun to say that there's a rift in Connor Sport, especially when there's family involved, but it's just simply not the case. Now, in the past, you've refused to acknowledge the role of your father in getting your current seat at Connor Sport. Why is that? Okay, I'm not taking any more questions about my father. Ask him about his involvement. Well, thank you for chatting with us. Great to have your time. The Consport teammates continue to shoot themselves in the foot, with the mayor and Jackson getting into another on-track tussle at the Italian Grand Prix. Fortunately, Kelly managed to turn it around and finish within the points. It's clear to all that Consport's problems aren't going away anytime soon. Ay ay ay. Yeah, I have problem with the project. Yeah. Go on then, let's have it. That's no way to answer the phone. Media training rule number one. Say your piece, mother dearest. Um, fine if you want to be like that. You have a problem confronting issues, you'd be better off dealing with them and moving on. There I said it. Have you been talking to my therapist? <laughs> no, but I'm serious, darling. The more you ignore these questions from the media, the more they'll haunt you. <sighs> it's none of their business. But that's where you're wrong, darling. It's quite literally their business. It's how they make their living. Whose side are you on here? Look, I'm trying to help you manage the situation. I know it's not easy. Yeah, you're certainly right about that. Anyway, forgive me for sticking my nose in again. I'll let you go, Cal. Ciao. Casper. Hey, Kelly. I just, I just wanted to apologize. What? Why? Well, I, I said I would keep your father away from you, and here you are in the media answering all these questions about him all the time. <sighs> it's fine, Cass. They were always going to ask me that stuff. Yeah, I know. But, uh, you know, thanks for bending the truth a little out there. It does show the team in a better light. <sighs> I've got no issues lying about something that's none of their business. Just sorry that you had to. Don't worry about it, Cass. It's no big deal. Yeah, but it is to me. So, thank you, Kelly. Yeah. We will see what's going to happen with this. It's always all the trouble between Kelly and Aiden. All the time. So, we're going to go out to the ability for Kallesport. What's going to happen with this now? 
Det får vi vente i neste episode med F1 23 Breaking Point 2. Du som takker for at du så på, dykk gjerne like på videoen, abonner hvis du er ny, og så ses vi til denne videoen. Vi ses!